first company in the world to put on the market a regenerative cycle turbine. Okay, we are at Oshkosh 2025 and I just spotted another engine here that looks very interesting and I think you would like it as well. So we're going to jump right to it. And if you would, you can introduce yourself. What is the company Turb Tech? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yes, Turbotech is a French company who was created seven years ago. Uh, we are ex-employee from Safran Group before we worked on very big engine and we decided to make the perfect engine for light aviation. So uh, how long have you been working on this particular um, setup that you have here on display? Yes, in fact, Turbotech uh, exists it's, uh, seven years, but uh, it's almost 15 years we are working on this concept. It's a very unique concept in light aviation because we are the first company in the world to put on the market a regenerative cycle turbine. It's a micro turbine who integrate a, a, a recuperator, it's a heat exchanger, who recovers the heat from the exhaust gas to have a very low fuel burn turbine, which is very good now for light aircraft. So um, what kind of fuel consumption, I guess the two questions, we'll answer the fuel consumption mm -hmm. and then let's talk about what kind of horsepower yeah. this yeah. particular model put out. So what kind of fuel burn would you see for mm -hmm per uh, liter or gallon per hour. Yeah. Thanks to this uh, heat exchanger, uh, the fuel consumption will be typically from five gallon per hour at half power, uh, even in low altitude, uh, or uh, eight gallon per hour at uh, high altitude and 90% uh, uh, power. It's give, for example, on the VL3, eight gallon per hour at 160 knots 10,000 feet which is quite exceptional for a little turbine uh, which is 140 horsepower maximum takeoff uh, maximum uh, yeah takeoff power okay so what about uh, so maximum takeoff power is 140 and we're looking anywhere between i think you said uh what five to eight gallons per hour somewhere through there yeah, so what kind of, um, what's uh, max continuous horsepower? Yeah, max continuous power will be very close to the maximum power. It's 95% uh, percent of this uh, of this power. This engine is non-flat rated, so you have 140 on ground. The power will decrease with altitude, uh, but also the fuel consumption, which lead to something very, very efficient. Yeah, that's impressive. So it looks like at your brochure here, is this something you are looking to put in uh, certified aircraft then, or where are you at on that? Uh, at this time, the engine is uncertified. It's for uh, uh, experimental aircraft or ultralight aircraft in Europe, okay. 600 kilogram aircraft. And of course, Mosaic uh, was just announced yesterday. Yes. So it will be for all Mosaic aircraft uh, from now. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's good news. Absolutely. <laughs> very good news for everybody, but very good news for us too. Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, what kind of aircraft would you see when this would be a good fit that you're, um, I guess, looking at right now that would be yeah. a really good fit for? In fact, uh, our turbine is lighter than a uh, current piston engine. It's, uh, I would say, it's 60% the weight of a Lycoming of the same power. It's 20 kilograms lighter than the Rotax 915, and we consume one liter per hour less than the Rotax 915 at wow. uh, high power settings. So our turbine can be installed on any aircraft equipped with a piston engine. We, we modified 10 aircraft at this time, mostly equipped with Rotax, and it's strictly the same uh, uh, airframe than uh, with the piston engine. Mm -hmm. It's just a retrofit of the engine mount and the yep. cowlings, and we maintain the CG because the engine is slightly longer, and okay. with a proper installation, we have something that is slightly more efficient than with the piston engine. Yeah. We really think it's a revolution because it's the first turbine in the world to, to do that, thanks to this technology yeah. of heat exchanger that we didn't invent, we just optimize it. Okay, all right. So what kind of, um, is this something that has been on a test stand at this point? Have, uh, you, have you been running this particular engine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we tested this engine on 
10 types of uh, aircraft. It's uh, okay. mostly the uh, uh, GMB VL3, the XL8 from Bristol, Tarragon, uh, okay. also UAV, military UAV, small helicopters. So you can mm -hmm. see all those aircraft here. Yeah. The Gogeter, which is a, a Slovenian certified uh, aircraft. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in process to certify uh, our uh, turbine with EASA and after with uh, FAA. Uh, and we are beginning to, to, to do that with uh, uh, tie dragger, uh, uh, backcountry tie draggers. I think you will see in the future some, some interesting things. So. Mm -hmm. Any aircraft, yes, equipped with a, a, a piston engine can be equipped with our turbine. And we tested the turbine on ground and for thousands and thousands of hours of flight tests to be sure we have something not 100% ready, but 200% ready for the okay. flying experience. All right, that's awesome. That's exciting. I have just a couple more questions. The yeah. last one I'll ask is, price point but before we get to that what kind of uh, TBO or you know recommended time for overhaul <laughs> life are you expecting or you yeah. have on this yeah currently we conceive the engine to have a very high TBO so it's mean also less cost of ownership mm -hmm. uh, because yes the engine is uh, more expensive than a piston engine yeah. uh, we talk um, of a price of uh, roughly between 105 thousand euro uh, to 110,000 euro, uh, depending on the option, uh, excluding VAT. Yep. Uh, so sorry, you have to convert in, in the law. Yeah, I'll put the uh, price in USD up there. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. okay. All right, cool, sounds yeah. good. No so, problem. Uh, the other questions I want to ask was, what is the weight of yeah, this? Because yeah, yeah. you said it is lighter, so it extends out farther to help that CG, but what kind of weight are we looking at? Yeah, yeah. And to finish, sorry for your question oh. about the TBO, it's 3,000 hours, oh, yes. and we expect uh, and something between 3,000 to 4,000 cycles, and we expect to extend the TBO after two to three years to go to something uh, between 3,500 3, to 4,000 uh, oh, wow. uh, hour between uh, overall. Yeah, okay. That's So that would be uh, essentially, eventually be double the recommended, yeah. like your standard piston TBO, absolutely, to absolutely. go from the two to 4,000. Yeah. But right now you're about 50% more of the recommended yes, TBO. Yes, exactly. But another very interesting thing with the turbine is a very low uh, maintenance uh, needed. The first operation will be an oil drain at 250 hours. So it, it will lead to a, 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 an aircraft that is uh, less expensive to operate mm -hmm. than with a piston engine. So for uh, uh, training schools, mm -hmm. uh, it will be, I think, the, oh, the yeah. best solution. Yeah, 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 on certified yeah. aircraft. Yeah, just more up front, but uh, in the next, you know, you're increasing potentially double yeah. the time, and then your intervals for maintenance is going to be absolutely. Less. And yep. you and you burn any type of fuel. Oh, it gosh, can be fuel. JT1 diesel yeah. or even half uh, gas. Yeah. Uh, it's a FADEC control engine, so the FADEC will maintain uh, a temperature at the entry of the turbine. So. It's a very simple start, stop, and the Fandek manage everything. It's a single yeah. lever uh, turbine, so you just have a truss lever like a jet engine, yeah. so it can emulate uh, an Airbus or Boeing uh, okay. for training uh, the pilots. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's a very modern and very safe uh, solution. Okay, all right. And now um, I guess we'll go back to the weight. What, yeah, is the, yeah. what is the weight? Yeah, the weight currently is 85 kilogram totally complete with the FADEC pumps, all the components. Okay. Uh, if you compare that to uh, a Lycoming of the same weight, that will be roughly 130 kilograms for uh, 0320, something like that. Okay. Uh, so it's it's just half the weight of yeah, yeah. Uh, nearly uh, of, uh, of a Lycoming engine of the same power. So okay. you can, if you retrofit this engine on a Cessna 172, mm -hmm. imagine what it can give. It's uh, less drag, uh, maybe more power because it's, uh, it's uh, a variable pitch. So yeah, yeah. Uh, when you compare a 160 horsepower with a fixed pitch, mm -hmm. it don't make 160 horsepower for takeoff. It will be 140, so it will be very equivalent. Okay. Uh, and it's lighter, so you you have yeah you have that power to weight ratio. Yeah, game as well. it's really higher. So with this yeah. weight, we are really in the very well placed in terms of uh, of power to weight ratio. Yes. Okay. All right. 
I got one last question. I want to ask as far as uh, the aircraft that maybe it wouldn't be equivalent in exchange for. Say you have a 200 horsepower aircraft, you would like you really like this the efficiency and just you know you like the setup and you want to invest in that. Do you yeah. think down the road are you looking at potentially doing something closer to the 200 horsepower range? Absolutely, or? it's even the case. We are currently developing a 250 horsepower, but it okay. will be a family of engine because in fact this engine is uh, available in one uh, 109 horsepower, 140, mm. oh, okay. and maybe in the future we will push a little bit maybe to 160. Yeah, we also okay. have an electric boost that allow to boost mm. the power of this engine okay. to 170. But we are currently yeah. uh, developing the 250 horsepower, which will be okay. a family of engine oh, yeah, between okay. yeah. 220 to something close to 300 horsepower. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so you have provisions or you're looking, you're looking at doing another iteration essentially of this engine family yeah. for a little more. Okay, But well, it will not yeah. be the same engine, yeah. It's yep. a completely new engine, mm -hmm. uh, same principle, only 20% bigger, but two times more power. Yeah, okay. All right, well, I appreciate it. And if anyone has any more questions about this, they want to go directly to it, what is the best site online? Like, where would you want to send them to to ah, get more information? I where would that be? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. we can let viewers know. Just tell us the yeah, website yeah. and then... Yeah, if you have any question or if you need any material, do not hesitate. You can send me an email. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll put the uh, information in the description. All right. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you guys watching. Until next time, you guys stay safe. Be blessed. I will see you in the next one. Later.